The brick and beacons in the Black Mountain area are really important to especially our service. It's where the, the physical aspect of selection has been conducted for decades. It is hard, tough terrain and it separates the weak from the chaff, which sounds quite brutal, but that's a reality. Selection is a process and we're trying to select the fittest, strongest and most determined individuals and the Brecon Beacons are a challenging environment both in the summer and in the winter. I was aware of the SES for several years before I joined the Army, but once I was actually in the Parachute Regiment and understood that the SES was the pinnacle of a military career, I wanted to join an elite unit and, to be brutally honest, the SES was a place to be. I think it's quite common knowledge that the SES has commissioned several watches they're only sold to serving members or former members of the Special Air Service. They're quite unique items, highly collectible, but it wouldn't matter how much money I was offered for those watches. They're too personal and I'll always keep them. On the reverse it has the, the winged dagger, uh, which is very close to my heart. Uh, I spent a long time in the Special Air Service and what makes a watch really special to me, it has a, a unique serial number on the back and that serial number is, is a personal number. It's, uh, it's called a ZAP number and it's the number that, while serving, is my reference point. If something had ever happened, your name isn't used in a communication, your ZAP number is used, and that, and that is shown on the back of each watch. On the casing on the side of the Seamaster, there is an inscription, always a little further. It references the James Elroy Flecker poem, which is inscribed on the clock tower in Hereford and is extremely significant to SAS men. Those that are killed while serving in the SAS, each and every individual has his name inscribed. Beating the clock means that you're fortunate enough that your name has never been inscribed upon it. I was actually approached to write my biography. As a former serving member of the Special Air Service, I'm a signatory of the disclosure contract, which means that I won't write about my experiences because people don't need to know about what we've done and also to discuss what we have done may compromise future operations. But fiction's a form of escapism and I think it just gave me a bit of a release. I've got an extremely busy day job. The fiction writing was quite cathartic and it was a bit of escapism. It was really good fun and, and, and I enjoyed writing it and I hope people enjoy reading it.